Surface area pyramids. So what exactly is a pyramid? A pyramid is a three-dimensional polyhedron with one base and at least three triangular faces. Now, these terms are going to be very important when calculating uh, the surface area of a pyramid, specifically these three. Now, we already know what the base is. And we've talked a little bit about lateral faces. Um, what's going to be really important in calculating the surface area of a pyramid is its slant height. Now, this is the height of our pyramid. But when we're calculating surface area of one of the lateral faces, what we're going to use is we're going to use what's called the slant height in determining uh, the area of the lateral face. So what shape is the base of this pyramid? It's a little bit hard to tell, but I believe it could be a rectangle. It might be a square as well. But the sides, the shape of the sides are triangles. Now much like prisms, pyramids get their name from their bases. The base in this first example is a square, and that's a square pyramid. Oh, the second one is, has a triangular base. That's a triangular pyramid. And there are also rectangular pyramids, as we will see. Now, lateral faces. Let's talk about those for a minute. A lateral face, those are the faces that join the two bases. So, for example, we have a rectangular prism here. And these would be our two bases. These would be our lateral faces. So which of these shapes could be considered lateral faces for that particular shape? Well, this could, and this could as well. What about the pyramid, the green pyramid? What would be considered lateral faces? There's only one. Now remember, pyramids are made up of triangular faces. And the last one is not a pyramid. That's actually a triangular prism. And your two bases are here. You can't really see the other one. These are our lateral faces. And lateral faces on prisms are rectangles. Now, this is an interesting slide, the differences between a pyramid and a prism. A pyramid only has one base, whereas a prism has two bases, and they're congruent, and they're parallel to one another. If you look at the lateral faces of a pyramid, they're made up of triangles, whereas the lateral faces on prisms are rectangles. So that's kind of interesting. Now, which one of these figures would not be a pyramid? Which one is not a pyramid? So if you look at them, it's pretty easy to spot. This is a prism because it has two congruent bases that are parallel. All the other pyramids have just one base. And if you look at their sides, they're made up of triangles. All the pyramids are, have triangular lateral faces. So how do you find the surface area of a pyramid? Again, slant height is going to be really important when we're calculating the area of the lateral faces. So let's do one. Here we have a rectangular pyramid. It has a rectangular base. And we're actually going to start with finding the area of the base. Well, that would just be length times width. So it would be 8 times 9. It would be 72 square feet. Let's find the area of one of the triangular faces. I, I'll, you know, and it really doesn't matter which one you start with. I'm going to start with this face right here. So the base is 4, and the height, you've got to look at the slant height. The slant height is 7.1. Now here are three formulas for finding area of a triangle. You can use any one you want. Because our base is an even number, I'm actually going to do, I'm going to use this formula. I'm going to take one half of the base, and the base is 8, and then I'm going to multiply that times the height, and the height, the slant height, is 7.1. So 
So 1 half of 8 is 4, and 4 times 7 is 28.4. So the area of this lateral face is 28.4 square feet. Now the lateral face opposite that is going to be exactly the same at 28.4 square feet. So let's take a look at this lateral face over here. We're going to find the area of this. Well, our base is 9. Our lateral height is 6.8. I think, um, I think what, I'm, what I'm going to do, because the height is an even number, or it's, it's even, I'm going to take one half of, well, let me move that down. I'm going to take one half of 6.8. And then I'm going to multiply that times our base of 9. So 1 half of 6.8 is 3.4. And then 3.4 times 9 is 30.6. And the lateral face opposite that is going to be the exact same uh, square footage. It's going to be 30.6 square feet. So to find the surface area, all we would need to do then would be add all these up and then label it square feet. And that would give us the surface area of all five faces on that pyramid. Let's do one more. So here we have a square pyramid. This really should be labeled down here so that we know it's a square. And this is actually going to be really easy. Let's start with the base. The base is a square, so I could do side times side or I could do side squared. I think I'll do side squared. So the area of the base is 36 square inches. And now, all four of these lateral faces are going to have the same area. They all have a base of 6, and they all have a lateral height of 9 inches. So if we find the area of 1, we'll have the area for all four. So because the base is an even number, I think I'm going to use one half of the base times the height. So let's do one half of six times the height of, of nine. One half of six is three. Three times nine is 27. So all four of these lateral faces are going to be 27. 27, oh, and I'm sorry, I put square feet on that. It's square inches would be the label. Uh, and I would just add all these up, and that would give me the surface area of all five sides of that pyramid. And I would just label it square inches. So that's all there is uh, to it in finding the surface area of a pyramid.